Welcome to Episode 1 of the AppViewX series, CISO Guide to Certificate Management. My name is Glenn Gray, Senior Solution Architect with AppViewX. In this episode, we will explore the risks associated with improper certificate management. Poor management of certificates can cause significant negative business impact, from system downtime to increased incident response costs and even lost opportunity. In addition, businesses continue to battle with certificate expiries as being a leading concern with respect to management of certificates. Concerns regarding web browser warnings notifying users that the site may not be secure due to an expired or out of compliance certificate can cause harm to the business reputation and loss of consumer trust, leading consumers to flee toward competitor service offerings. Manually managing certificates using spreadsheets only accounts for known certificates and lacks the ability to perform discovery. In addition, there is no mechanism to facilitate certificate renewal, revocation, or regeneration, leaving those responsibilities to complex and error-prone manual task structures. Consider your business and evaluate if these challenges exist and if there are any others that relate to managing certificate assets. At a minimum, discovery methods should be used to determine the scope of the certificate inventory, covering known and unknown certificates that exist in the environment. Implement automated certificate discovery and renewal methods, which work to minimize the risk of unplanned expiry. Consider full life cycle certificate management, especially in multiple certificate-based enterprise use cases such as mobile and IoT. Security leaders can increase operational efficiency and security by using full life cycle management tools for these complex environments. In addition, as part of the overall cybersecurity management plan, be able to identify PKI attributes cryptographic algorithms, and all CA providers. Addressing these factors will enhance a cybersecurity professional's ability to minimize the impact and downtime in the event of a certificate issuer compromise, critical vulnerability exposure, suspected compromise, or attack. From these examples, begin to elaborate on how certificate lifecycle management can improve the ability to minimize risk within your business. Now let's take a look at the AppViewX platform. AppViewX provides for complete certificate and key lifecycle management by allowing cryptographic systems administrators to discover, manage, and automate their certificate assets. Beginning with organizing the certificate inventory, AppViewX makes it easy to categorize all certificates into customized grouping structures that are relevant to each individual business. In this example, you can see a structure has been applied to group according to parent organizational unit and subordinate functional units associated to development, quality assurance, and production instances. And tasks such as renewal, deployment, and approval review can be automated depending upon the desired change management workflow practices. Next, the ability to establish governing policies at a global as well as individual group level can be facilitated. Within each policy definition, administrators have the ability to define criteria for acceptable issuing certificate authorities, certificate types, bit lengths, key types, and signing hash functions. Moving on to discovery capabilities, the AppViewX system allows an administrator to detect certificate instances and their associated PKI data through various methods in both on-demand as well as scheduled discovery tasks. Starting with IP subnet scanning, 
the AppViewX system allows an administrator to define an IP address structure and port listener of interest and then interrogate it for encrypted communication offerings. Upon completion of the scan, all discovered service endpoints are displayed, added to inventory, and available for management or monitoring. Encryption offload endpoints, such as load balancers, are also easily discovered. A large variety of well-recognized ADC platforms has been integrated and certified with the AppViewX platform, allowing administrators to quickly and easily add all certificate and key instances Even the discovery and management of certificate and key assets residing on server platforms is available without the need to install software agents across them. Instead, simply provide valid login credentials for the server platform and define the file location of the certificate and key assets. When it comes to implementation and deployment tasks, the AppViewX system provides for an intuitive, easy to use, and singular view of each certificate asset. It associates the certificate, issuing CA, and where it resides into one view and allows an administrator to generate certificate signing requests to the CA and then push the certificate to the service endpoint quickly and effectively, with or without pausing for approval and review escalations as defined by associated policy definitions. Also, each implementation of certificate processing is equipped with push-button rollback capability. The AppViewX system provides extensive dashboard and reporting capabilities, which will be described in much greater detail during a coming episode. However, I would like to provide a glimpse into the valuable feature capabilities of the default server certificate summary view, which provides very helpful categorizations by server type, expiry, and compliance, just to name a few. As you can see by the compliance view, each non-compliant certificate instance is cataloged and shows the policy definition and non-conforming attributes to be fixed. With all of this powerful information, the management of life cycle tasks can be easily facilitated. For example, revoking and regenerating a non-compliant certificate instance can be performed quickly from a single view and without the need to transfer sensitive private key assets between multiple employees or systems, which in and of itself significantly reduces risk to unauthorized access to private keys. As you can see by the demonstration, remediation of a non-compliant instance is quickly yet effectively resolved.
Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future episodes where we will continue to guide security leaders through certificate management best practices. For AtViewX, my name is Glenn Gray.